help me in welcoming Will Whitney. Colorado River uh, and hiking bike 
trail and Lady Bird Lane. And between it was 12 parks, just 12 parks. It's nothing. Most, most big city downtowns are, are hundreds of blocks and they're a mess and they're you know, sort of tragic in many places. places. Uh, Austin was just eight, it was 12 blocks. You get your arms around it, but nobody thought of it that way. And a number of us just started trying to, to do something with it. And now, 30 years later, there's 10,000 people living downtown, like it or not, some people don't. You know, there are high rises, our skyline is changing, but because of that, there's more eyes and ears on the street, there are more, you know, live, there are more, far more live music venues in downtown Austin today than there were 25 years ago, despite like what some old hippies might tell you. Uh, you know, there are far more restaurants, it's just a safer place to be, it's, um, you know, my kids live downtown, we walk everywhere, we, you know, we fish at Lady Bird Lake, we, we enjoy living in urban America. Uh, and what I think is this gift, you know, about to be more impressive, more dynamic at downtown. That wasn't the case. But so I was involved in that, and that uh, inadvertently led me into to the government, into politics. It never crossed my mind to run for, you know, for office. I'd never been in student government in college. But was doing things that seemed to make sense when it came to, to the crossroads of Austin. Trying to figure out how do you protect the environment while you recognize the city's going to grow. How do you try to grow the tax base while at the same time uh, trying to make it easier for people to get around on a bicycle? How do you uh, try to have urban academic excellence in, the, in an era when across the country that was declining? How do you try to uh, continue to promote, you know, young, dynamic, tolerant, you know, activities in a in a downtown core where most of urban America's cores were deteriorating. And so that ended up just being sort of this relatively positive, relatively politically neutral uh, place to be. And so someone who wasn't particularly active, politically active, had never I've never been to a Democratic or Republican event in my life. I'd never declared a party. I thought it was sort of silly. If somebody wanted to declare a party if you're not in office. Never given money to a politician, that kind of thing. Uh, but I was encouraged to and ultimately saw what I thought might be this interesting uh, chance to give back and to be involved. Probably to learn a lot more about uh, my town and my kids' hometown. So I decided to run for office and got elected and, and spent nine years, uh, 2000, 2009, you know, sort of right in the middle of this really interesting urban experiment that has that continues to evolve, uh, has hopefully attracted many of you all here, in addition to St. Ed's. I hope you're also thought about, you know, where is St. Ed's, what is the community around it, what other opportunities are there all on campus, shows uh, come to school here. So what I'd like to do is try to blast through a few slides that will uh, sort of give you all what you, you, you may think you know, but should, we'll give you a snapshot of, of the city that you all have lived in, the school in. So here we are today, this is the skyline. I actually put this on right up about uh, oh, nine months or so ago from what uh, the little area outside of Joe's Crab Shack. And, uh, you know, for those of us who remember downtown just 10 years ago, this still, you know, sort of amazing me, really. I mean, this, uh, uh, the 11 tallest buildings in downtown Austin didn't exist 10 years ago. And there's not a city that can say that. All right, actually, we're back. So, Austin's tagline, at least the last sort of five years or so, has been the human capital. And I, I always like that because we, you know, obviously we're the state capital, uh, but we don't talk about that. There's not a, there's not a silhouette of the state capital dome. Uh, from an economic standpoint, as we, as we would use this to try to go lure some company to think about opening up a, a, a satellite office here in Austin, maybe even moving the headquarters to Austin. Uh, we often would talk to technology companies, many of them, uh, we're connected to some of the venture capitalists uh, here in Austin. Austin's known as a venture capital town, but we didn't put, you know, 
dollar sign or the word venture capital there. We talked about the human capital. We talked about uh, people that live in this community. Uh, kids that choose to come to school here. Uh, kids that choose to come here after they likely graduate from some other college or university somewhere. And just the, the homegrown uh, talent that's here. So Austin's story isn't about uh, our airport, as nice as it is for a small airport. Uh, you know, Dallas and Houston and other bigger cities have far better air protections than Austin. <coughs> It's not about our beaches. We don't have a beach, sadly. Uh, it's not about our seaport, right, or our freight service. Uh, so we, we don't have the infrastructure, the big, mostly industrial, and oftentimes polluting uh, infrastructure that so many other cities have. But we have the people. Uh, we have this young, educated, uh, tolerant, creative, driven set of minds. That's what our sales point is. And it's actually relatively unique. Very few cities, you know, try to sell their people. They try to sell how easy it is to get there. They try to sell the weather. They try to sell the fact that they're in the suitable time zones. You can do business on both coasts. They try to sell, you know, low tax rate. They try to sell something, right? Uh, here in Austin, in the years that I was there, when we would promote our town, we promoted the human capital. I'm always all right, so here's a quick stats for you. Uh, Houston had to uh, as a car. So we are the uh, third, actually, I think we're in the second now, third safest city in America. Median age, thanks to you guys, we are the youngest big city in America. So of the, of the 42 cities in the U.S. that have more than 500,000 people, uh, Austin is off the charts. Median age, the youngest big city in America. 